Greetings, this is Mark Anderson for Kellogg Community College, and we're going to look at some story problems here, working with um, working with uh, some uh, applications of geometric sequences and series. Now we're going to be using one of two formulas. We're either going to be using a formula to find a certain number, or an a sub n of a geometric sequence, or we could be looking at the total sum, or s sub n, which is the sum of a geometric series. So the problem itself is going to tell us that, and in this case, let's kind of dive in here. Um, a laboratory or a sample contains 600 milligrams, which is my start, of a radioactive material with a half-life, that's going to be my R there, of one hour. So it looks like it's decaying pretty quickly. Find the amount of radioactive material in the sample at the beginning of the fifth hour. Well, that's going to be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So to find my fifth hour, I'm going to type in my um, a sub 1 right here, which is 600. And we're going to have the rate, which is 1 half, raised to the 1 half power, which is 4. If I do this out on my calculator, I then get my f beginning of the fifth hour is going to be 37.5 milligrams of radioactive material. Now for number 17, this is going to take a Facebook post sent to 10 people. Each of the 10 people in turn shares it with 10 other people and the process is repeated. What is the total number that people who have been received the post after four hours uh, or four of these little passing around cycles? Now what I'm about to do is I'm about to do two different ways to interpret the puzzle. Now you may believe that this is your a sub 1 because this is the 10 people who get it and then each of the 10 people in turn shares it with another 10 other people, so this is going to be my R. So my S sub N equation is going to be this A sub 1 and 1 minus R to the N divided by 1 minus R. So um, if I plug in my numbers here, I get the, because I want to go four um, iterations of this, I'm going to go 10 and then 1 minus 10 to the fourth divided by 1 minus 10. And if I do that out correctly, I get an answer of one, oh, sorry, 11,110. So this is the total, if I believe that my 10 people is the start, and then I multiply by 10, or basically tell 10 people every single time, this would be the sum of how many people know in the first four iterations of the cycle. Now, I have received a couple debates on this, because some people believe that this, a Facebook post, is the a sub 1 instead. So my S sub N is equal to, in this case, 1, and then 1 minus 10 to the fourth, all over 1 minus 10, and what that gives me is 1,111. Now, again, this is a little bit controversial because they believe that this is the Facebook post that has to start this whole thing off. And then on the flip side of this is that some might argue that, well, okay, so if that is it, to see um, a four complete cycle, since this technically wasn't a cycle from here to here, you would change this to a five. Now, again, all of this is up for debate, and I'm going to be pretty liberal about how you interpret this, but the way that I did on the left side of, the, of this lightning bolt right here is more likely what most people are going to decide to do when they see a problem like this. All right, so now we're on to the last three, and these last three actually have something in common. Um, not only do they use the same formula, but there's a little bit of a tricky spot to it because this is testing the bounce of a golf ball. The ball is dropped from a height of 10 feet, so there's my a sub 1 right there. Let's identify that. And the ball bounces 60% of its previous height each bounce, so there's my r. My r is 60% of its previous height. How high does the ball bounce on the fifth bounce? So you got to have five bounces on this. So a couple times people start off with a sub 5 and then go with 10 and 0.60 raised to the fourth power. But here's the problem with that. If I use this to the fourth power, it actually hasn't bounced five times. It's actually bounced four times. So in this case, we have to make that a 5 and this a 6. So it's really finding the fifth bounce or the sixth iteration of this pattern. And if I do that out correctly, I get a decimal of 0.77 or 0.8 feet. Alright, so for the next problem, 
I have the temperature of a hot water spa increasing at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold for a spa. That's like Labor Day weekend cold pool in Michigan uh, temperature. Yee. But what we're going to do is turn on the juice and make sure that the temperature rises 5% higher than each previous hour. We want to find the temperature of the spa after four hours. And this is another situation where you may want to set up the problem as A sub 4 because you want to go four hours and then 70 times, not 0.05, 1.05 because it's increasing the 100% temperature by an extra 5%, so it's 105% of its original temperature. But according to the formula then, I would put in this corner a three, but instead I actually want four iterations of this, so that might change this to a five if you're keeping track. So that means I'm gonna multiply this together and then round to the nearest tenth, and that gives me 85.1 degrees. All right, for the final problem here, we are going to look at a um, value of land that's increasing at 12%, which is a fantastic rate of return. Um, but that is going to give us an equation of A sub 10 is equal to $20,000 for the initial piece of land. If it's increasing at 12%, it'd be 1.12 raised. In this case, now again, you may say, well, 10 minus 1 is 9, but we want a full 10 years, so therefore we're going to change that to an 11. We want that full 10 there, and if we do the full 10, we see that this $20,000 property has over, um, I mean, has really, really, has over tripled its value at $62,116.94, or sorry, 96 cents. So that's pretty amazing. If you get any kind of, a, any kind of an investment in a house or in land that's above 10% interest rate, holding on to that for a decade is really going to make your money, um, uh, really, I mean, shoot, triple in value. It's pretty good. Well, thank you very much for watching these story problems on geometric series and sequences.